Uh, my name is Rich Hunter. I'm with uh, Gunner Recordings. It's a new uh, Aboriginal record company based out of Toronto. Uh, we just launched uh, 2012 and we're working with uh, several uh, artists including um, Derek Miller. Uh, we're doing a new album with him called Blues Volume 1 that's going to be out this spring. We're also doing uh, an album with uh, with Stevie Salas and Bernard Fowler from the Rolling Stones. Uh, we're gonna do a live album. Uh, that'll be out as well this spring. And uh, we're licensing um, um, as many artists as we can. We're looking, well, that's why we're here really. We're looking for new talent to develop and um, uh, you know, we're gonna license George Leach. We're gonna license a gentleman named Jim Evans um, and uh, develop um, some female artists as well. That being uh, Missy Knott. Um, and we're and we're here to look for new talent, so we want to find as many new artists as we can here in Quebec. Um, myself being Cree from uh, from uh, Moose Factory, Moosini. And uh, with the with the label, what we do basically is record we record the album, uh, we put everything together, uh, we market the album, uh, and we get it out there as much as we can, uh, which will be uh, digital releases. Well, right now we're looking for new artists. If they have any demos, they can send them to the website. It's gunnerrecordings.com. Okay. Um, you know, you just got to be really good, really talented, and we'll work with that. Um, Vic Branco is our A and R guy. He handles all the bands, so um, we'll record them and, and develop songs with them, right in the studio. Right in the studio. Yeah. Um. And we're basically looking for uh, young artists as well. You know, up to like you know from 13 to like. 25 right now, because we're trying to record as many new artists as we can. And there's, a, you know, you look on all the reserves in Canada, like everyone knows a guitar player. Uh, there's so much talent out there, so we're hoping to find a lot of it. Well, what uh, what Gunner Recordings is doing is basically we want to break artists, uh, not only in Canada and the U.S., but um, in Europe. Uh, you know, we've all heard the stories on how uh, Aboriginal music can make it in Europe. So Germany, Czechoslovakia, France. Uh, we want to get it out there and do tours in Europe to take over like an Aboriginal um, tour with you know three or four acts on it, and just tour the tour as, as much as we can, and release a lot of the new tracks, new material over there. So Europe is a very good market, right? For um... it's our number one goal is to to make it Europe. Are there any specific countries that are more inclined? I think France is huge. France, Germany, um, the Eastern country uh, block. Eastern block, yeah. Yeah. They're massive. I mean, uh, they you know they they all appreciate Aboriginal art in general. So I think having a, uh, you know a lot of CD uh, tours with the, with the artists and, and to basically just distribute music over there mm -hmm. and get it out there as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's. Pretty We're not really worried with Canada. I mean, you can always. You can always do CD release parties and then small tours, but for the artists and the, and the label to really, you know, make some profit and really keep growing, we need to like uh, create that market. Okay. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Is there anything else you want to say? I just want to thank Lloyd for inviting us, and um, you know, with, we're going to be working with you guys. I think uh, a lot down the road to record as many Aboriginal artists uh, that we can find that are really good. So thank you very much. Hi, my name is Vic Branco, and I uh, work with Rich Hunter at Gunner Recordings. I handle all the A&R project uh, budgets, uh, putting artists together with writers, music, and all the lovely combinations that creates the art. And uh, if you have anything, if you know of anyone out there that's uh, looking to get their music heard, produced and recorded and distributed to the masses globally, uh, contact Rich or myself at GunnerRecordings.com and we would love the opportunity to uh, consider working with you. So Rich and I came, uh, Rich and I kind of joined forces. Uh, I also have a studio named Iguana Recording in Toronto. Uh, we've been uh, in business for almost 20 years, I guess it'll be 20 years this fall, and worked with basically every artist in Canada over that time that's come through has had some success, whether it's been regional or international. And um, one of our first recordings that we've worked together on, as Rich after mentioned, was the Derek Miller Blues Volume 1. We're looking forward to doing some more work with them, two-time Juno Award winner. And currently we're uh, wrapping up uh, production with Stevie Salas and Bernard Fowler, who is, uh, the release will culminate the Rolling Stones' final tour. Um, I think they've been on tour for 200 years. 
and uh, it'll be a it'll be a good a good uh, a good cross marketing for the company as well as the artists. Um, over the years, we've worked with just about everybody, as uh, I mentioned. So, uh, what else, Rich? <laughs> I'm all in time. Uh, just where it is. Good, good, good. Actually, just before you sure. uh, turn around to ask him questions, yeah. uh, give it a pause then, because the, I, I, oh, the, right. the cut won't be good. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Iguana Recording is located in Toronto, about 50 minutes from the airport, actually uh, just off the 401 in Allen Road, very accessible, and we have uh, accommodations, affordable accommodations across the street. And uh, it's a one-stop shop. We do everything from graphic design to CD manufacturing to web design, social media, photography, um, every need that you would desire to get your product uh, completed from start to finish and also distribution digitally and physically. So uh, if you know, again, if you know anybody out there that's looking for these services, Contact us at GunnerRecordings.com, and we'd love to help you out. Also, I'd like to thank Lloyd and Daryl for inviting myself and Rich out. Uh, this is a great thing you guys are doing, and looking forward to many more, many more years of uh, working together uh, and a common goal to get Aboriginal Cree music to the masses. Thanks, guys. Cheers. <laughs>